Well, since my baby left me, well, I found a new place to dwell. It's down at the end of Lonely Street at Heartbreak Hotel, and I'll be, I'll be so lonely, baby. I've been so lonely. I've been so lonely, I could die. Well, though it's always crowded, you still gonna find some room for broken hearted lovers to cry there in the gloom. I've been, I've been so lonely, baby. I've been so lonely. I've been so lonely, I could die. Hi guys, this is how to play the absolute classic song, A Heartbreak Hotel by Elvis Presley. Um, I'm using this as a beginner's way to play the blues kind of lesson. Um, the solo, the classic lead guitar part to this song, uh, I'm going to cover in a separate lesson to this, but you will find it in a link in the description um, as soon as I've, I've made the lesson for that. But I'm using that lesson as a beginner's lead guitar lesson, and this is kind of a beginner's blues rhythm guitar lesson, where we're going to be primarily covering this riff. Um, but also using this song as a variation on a 12 bar blues using the same chords but um, slightly shortening the sequence and um, just covering a few little blues tips and tricks here for absolute beginners how to make basic open chords sound a little bit more bluesy. Um, but first of all I'm going to show you the how we play this big open E chord to form the start of this uh, song, Heartbreak Hotel. You will find the, the chords uh, sequence and this song fully tabbed out in the description below on my website if you want to check that out. First of all, that's the best place to start. Um, but we want to play a big open E chord just for the basic way to do this song, first of all. E, two strums and a mute to deaden the sound straight after that. So, E, B, mute. Well, since my baby left me, and basically that happens just twice, and you've got to have heard the song before to be able to know where that happens, really. Um, it does kind of happen on the and four, if you want to put it to account. So, one and two and three and four. But it's best to just kind of listen to the song and make sure you know where it happens. So, give that a go along to me. Well, since my baby left me, I thought I found a new place to dwell. And four. And then on this next time, we're just going to play an E7. So that's four. It's down at the end of Lonely Street and Heartbreak Hotel and Abbey. Just as a really easy way to do it. If you've not played an E7 before, it's a standard way of playing an E major, but with your third finger lifted off. And then we go to an A major. Now we could just palm mute this A major and play one and two and three and four and. But I'd like to use this as a perfect opportunity to follow on with the substitutions idea that we learned in the previous uh, lesson in this blues guitar series and a series where we're learning about this B7 chord, um, where we're going to use a blues riff. We're going to use this one. And uh, this is a substitution, a blues substitution for an A chord. So all the substitution bit means, rather than playing an A chord, we swap that out for a riff that also works in A. And um, this is how we play our standard A major chord. I've also taught it in my beginner's course like this. Sounds exactly the same, it's all the same notes, just different fingering. Um, if you're playing it the normal way, the kind of standard way through in a line, I guess, um, your first finger stays down where it is and the other two come off. Uh, if you slide your first finger to your side just a little bit, then we just play the A string, which is string number five, and then string number four as well. And to start with, we just play one and two and three and four and. If you're playing it with your first finger on the third string, so the, my beginner's course um, way, then it's your middle finger that you need to put um, your first finger in place of. So take off your middle finger and swap that with your first finger 
and then keep that exactly where it is but make sure it's over your side of the fret and just spray, play strings five and four in the pattern of one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four just for two bars just to get used to to this which is essentially a power chord A um, which just means we're playing the first the bass note or the note that is the lowest A chord and the next string down um, string five and string four um, that's all the power chord needs to meet you at the moment I'll be covering more in depth about power chords a little later in my beginners course so uh, along with me for two bars to this same pattern just with your first finger down three four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and that's your two bars so pause it there okay so every time we play i want us to just count just for a second one two three four okay it's not the way i want you to count it in the song but i'm just going to show you where this goes because a lot of people find it easier to do it this way um, i want your third finger to go down press down on number three and then there's a couple of ways to do it you can keep that down on four as well or you can go back to your first finger on four so one two three four or one two three four um, the first option going one two three four is easier but the higher level one one two three four I think sounds better it gives it a bit more of a push um, for two bars of the first one you just have your first finger kind of rocking at an even tempo and for the second one there's a bit more of a push involved that one's more common in my opinion um, but either will fit this song absolutely fine see which one you can do see which one feels best to you and uh, both are entirely correct for this song because I'm kind of arranging it for beginners blues guitar so that happens for just the two bars over I've been so lonely baby I've been so lonely and then we have a B7 chord just give that one strum and end it on so I'm just trying to get this riff to a point where you can use it with big open chords so for this second line which is just two bars of this A riff one strum of a B7 for a bar and one strum of an E for a bar um, let's just give this two bars of this A riff a go um, a little bit slower in one two three four first to third first third first third first third and stop there that's your two bars um then we'd strum a b7 and then finally an e let's go for that section one more time two and three and four and riff two three four one two three four then b7 i've been so lonely I could die. And then that cycles for the whole song, essentially. Um, there are different variations, but I'd rather leave those for the lead guitar parts and kind of keep this as the rhythm part. I showed a couple more in the introduction to this video. That's as a brief teaser of what's to come. But I need you to be able to integrate this riff with your B7 chord because doing that riff over a B7 chord is much kind of tougher and we'll be doing this kind of stretch which is a stretch from 2nd fret to 6th fret so a 4 um, string, four fret stretch apologies and it's tough so it's much easier to do over the E and A position um, so just a round of the verse first of all and then I'll show you what to do over the solo because that's slightly different from a rhythm guitar point of view we have your first line with the stops one strum of an E7 and then we're away with your your second line as we've just done so from an E major and I'll use the lyrics to be able to count you in but also tap tap the uh, the beat as well ready on your E major 
Well, since my baby left me, will I find a new place to dwell? It's down at the end of loan E7, E7, 2 and 3 and riff on A. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 B7, 2, 3 and end on E. Okay, a couple of points just to make sure that we're all doing this correctly. As soon as you've strummed the E, I want you to make sure that you mute it straight away as that's the correct way that we'll, how we'll get the sound of the record. If it's ringing out, I've found a new place to dwell. It doesn't have the same impact, nowhere near the same amount of impact. We want to make sure we're doing an E7. You know, the easy way to do it, just with your third finger off. But you could also do it, it's entirely correct, if you have your little finger on the third fret of the B string. So that's also a B7 as well. Some of you may have come across that, but the easier way to do it, just take your third finger off of a standard way. And then it can be tricky to get to this riff. Maybe you're finding that you can play the blues riff fine, but getting to it from an up and E is quite tricky. Just leave earlier. Just go to it, get there early. And it's crucial with, with chord changes in general when you use them in songs that you arrive on that first beat. But you can usually move to a chord much earlier than you may think. So if I do this one more time, it's down at the end of Lonely Street at Heartbreak Hotel and I'll be. Do you see how early I moved that time? I turned my finger off on like beat three, but you, you have open strings still ringing out even if I take my fingers off altogether. And that can mask a lot of movement. That can mask a lot of things and is very useful. So one, two, three, four, riff. As long as I arrive no earlier certainly than beat one, that's really, really handy and a big tip. Getting from this to a B7, is again something that, that wants to be practiced and, and utilized on its own. Um, this whole series of songs is, is part of a whole series of songs that basically teaches this B7 chord and how to use it in lots of different situations. Some are very bluesy, um, some are kind of busker songs, like Sitting on the Dock of the Bay is a common song that you use for, for buskers, and just the whole kind of C to B7. I always saw, saw that as a bit of a busker's change. Um, but in this situation, we're having to use it with an E7 and uh, an A riff, I guess. Um, but we should be fairly straightforward. Let's give it one more go, um, and then we'll get on to what to do over the solo section. Uh, if you want to skip along to that section, I'll put a link in the description. I always do that these days. From your E chord in a one, two, three. Well, since my baby left me, well, I found a new place to dwell. It's down at the end of E7 in Heartbreak Hotel and Riff. You'll be so lonely, baby. You'll be so lonely, B7. You've been so lonely, you could die. And again. Well, though it's always crowded, you still gonna find some room for broken hearted lovers to cry there in the gloom. And I've been, I've been so lonely, baby. I've been so lonely. I've been so lonely. I could die. Brilliant. Um, so, over the solo section. Um, we're going to need you to not stop for those first four bars of E. I'm going to need you to keep this riff going. Uh, essentially creating a da 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 And on the original recording, you'll hear that riff, but it's actually played on piano because they were the trio, um, the original Elvis Presley band. Um, one was a pianist and um, we've got a guitar, lead guitar, Scotty Moore playing the lead guitar so it's only kind of one guitar on the recording itself. Um, so that's really um, useful 
playing this chord on the E as well. So we have four bars of E, which just to show you how long that would be, one, two, three, four, second bar. And then all we have to do is slip your first finger down one string, just slip it down, try not to have to lift it off and get it all the way over there, it just slips down. And then we're on your A chord. Um, and then B7 one strum, B7 is strum absolutely as normal from there on. We're just swapping that first four bars of E for this riff. Let's give it a go, along to me, in a one, two, Three, four. To an A, slip it down. B7, one strum. Two, three, and on E. And then there'll be one more round of a verse where you go back to doing the muting, and then that's it, basically. One more time through that solo section, cause this moving from an E to an A can be very tricky. Don't get disheartened if it's super tricky at the moment, cause we're getting some riff content in here. And I'm uh, gonna be giving plenty of tips and tricks on, on this um, a little later on with extra videos to help you at each section to make sure you're getting from each section on the beginner's course um, what I would like you to, to have uh, acquired. One more time, super slow. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, last one, then two, and A, so slip down a string. Make sure you're only playing string five and four, five and four, B7 and end on your E chord. If it's sounding anywhere near that, that is absolutely fantastic for this level. There's a lot of very specific blues techniques that I'm using there, including just hitting a couple of strings. String five and four, rather than the sixth string. If that still happens to you, don't worry about it. It's totally fine. Um, it's just asking a little bit more from you at, at this kind of stage. Um, thanks for checking out this video. Do check out more of uh, the songs at this level of my beginner's course. Um, it will be in the description on the website. Um, and please subscribe if you like what I do so that I make you more videos. And I'm sure I will see you again.